going on everybody it is july 13th 2023 and i am proud to announce that jeff's hvac adventures and new cow gone have partnered up over the over the course of the next couple months i'm going to be showing you guys a lot of their products um, they have a ton of products a ton of really good products um, I wouldn't have agreed to this partnership had they been a subpar company, but I've been using New Calgon's products well ever since I've came into the field, and they are top. They are tops. You know, um, your refrigeration technologies might make some stuff, some coil cleaners, the Viper stuff, and that stuff's all good and well. No, nothing against it, but when you want good products, like coil cleaning products, New Calgon is heads and shoulders above all of it um, and then they have so many products out there for anything HVAC you know between cleaning um, disinfectant products uh, flush products uh, uh, towels uh, everything I mean they have everything and I am excited to show you guys all that stuff in the coming months and what I'm going to show you guys today is um, their clean connect uh, coil cleaning sprayer it's a very neat and state-of-the-art way New Calgon has came out with for cleaning coils. Now, I'll show you the product right now, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to use the product today. But stay tuned in the coming videos. I will, I will show you uh, how to use it, um, how I use it, and um, the advantages of it. So, yeah, um, it should be pretty cool. But um, I'm going to be showing you more products. I'm going to probably... I mean, I could, I could work New Calgon into every single video that I make. That's how many products they have, and that's how much I use their stuff. So, um, yeah, just, just stay tuned. I got a lot of stuff to show you from New Calgon, and I am very excited about this partnership, and I'm very excited to show you guys all this stuff. So, um, let me show you that Clean Connect sprayer and also the awesome deal they have going on right now with it. So, check it out. All right. We got a new package from New Calgon. Let's see what Christian sent us this time. All right, we got some product data here. We got dragon towels. I have not used these before, but I've used stuff similar. Very cool. Toughest disposable towel, wet or dry. Very cool. All right, this is the Clean Connect coil cleaner sprayer I was expecting. So uh, this is very neat. Used with New Calgon 4X concentrated coil cleaner. All right, and here is the 4X cleaners. So this is the new bright. This will screw on right to the bottom of here. So when this comes off, it'll screw right on the bottom there. And uh, and yeah, and your hose will go on this side and it will automatically dilute it for you. I think that's how that works. Yeah. Yep, we'll figure it out. Yep, the hose goes on this side product goes there and then your your wand here will connect on this side all right so he gave us the um, the new bright 4x uh, the Cali green concentrated coil cleaner we have another Cali green so we got two Cali greens. And then we have the Tri Power. Detergent, degreaser, and deodorizer. I've used all of these before. Um, this is by far my favorite. This stuff is really, really good. Best coal cleaner on the market by far. The Viper is okay, but when you need uh, good foaming action and want, want to clean something, this is what you're going to want to use. 
All right, what else we got in here? All right, we have the fan spray attachment for it. Okay, yeah. Um, the coil gun also comes with one of these, um, so you can have a fan spray instead of a foaming spray. All right, and here is the flyer with this. So, uh, if you buy a case of new Calgon four times cleaner, get a free clean connect. Okay, so if you buy a case of these bottles here, they're going to send you one of these. And this thing, it's like $100, $120 value. Uh, we make it easy. Make it quick, make it clean, connect. Uh, takes less space on truck, easy to carry on roofs with cleaner connecting. No more pouring or spilling. Clean connect automatically dilutes as it sprays. Uh, course designed for multiple jobs, recap when finished. Ships via UPS, FedEx, easier to get to the job site. back up so you guys can pause on this if you need to now this offer does end at the end of the month so you guys probably want to hop on this as soon as possible it's a very good offer here all right so here's our haul from new calgon this time very cool stuff all right guys well let's hop into today's service call um myself and kenny we're on a Goodman unit. We had to replace two defective uh, leaky service valves. Uh, we recovered the refrigerant, we recovered the remaining for refrigerant, took the old valves out, put the new valves in, and got them back up and running. So take a look. All right, we got a Goodman unit here from 2019. Leaky valve. Leaky service valves here, so we're going to um, get rid of this one, get rid of this one, and we're gonna. We have two brand new ones we're gonna put in. Dave should film this. He got toes in here. He got like living in this box. They're all right there in that corner. And we got a whole bunch of toes living in here. <laughs> ah, it's a toad aquarium. They, the problem is they get in there and then they can't get back out. <laughs> All right, we got the recovery unit hooked up. We're just letting everything equalize right now. We got a brand new tank there. And then um, we'll recover what's left out of here and get them replaced. I think on these Goodman units, they, the filter dryer, yeah, it's inside there, which is a ridiculous spot to put it. So I'll probably just put a scab of copper in there and move it out here. Well, we'll see once we get it opened up. I don't know why Goodman does this, why they put the filter dryer there. What a ridiculous spot to put it. I don't know, man. Just give it to us in a box, we'll put it on. Jeez. All right, we're just about all the way recovered now. Just bleeding off the last little bit. We took this bottom cover off so we can access everything. So there's our filter dryer we're gonna take out. And then both valves should be pretty straightforward. Shouldn't be too bad at all. All right, we're gonna cut this side off and then we're going to unsweat the other side. I think is the best plan of action here. All right, we got the old valves out, uh, old filter dryer out. So I'm just gonna bend a piece of copper to go from here to my new valve down here and then put my filter dryer out here like right here then the the new suction valve that's going to go right on that's, that shouldn't be a problem hopefully i got enough pipe here to play with if not um looks like they crimp down the seven this is a seven eighths unit and only a three quarter line set so i think i do have a piece of three uh seven eighths copper on my truck i'll stub it out and then either use a reducer if i have one or i'll put the three quarter inside the seven eighths. So it's a more of a smooth transition instead of crimping down, um, crimping down the, uh, the fitting on, onto here. That just looks like crap. I hate when guys do that. All right. All right, we're gonna be
to be using this new Calgon Thermo Trap today, the reusable heat sink putty. We're going to take a good, uh, a good bit of it and we're going to pack it around. We're going to take a good bit of it and we're going to pack it around this valve to protect it from the heat I'm about to put on it. We're just going to pack that on there. This stuff is reusable, so after you get done, done with it after it cools, you can take it back off and uh, put it right back in there. Some of it anyway, a lot of it, you know, does get destroyed, but um, what doesn't, you can reuse. So we're gonna pack that right on there. And then we don't have to wrap a wet rag around it, so this stuff is very nice. I pulled the valve core out of it. I'm gonna put my, um, uh, my hose here that way I can flow nitrogen but yep this stuff is really nice thermo trap heat absorption putty by new Calgon all right we got the filter dryer uh, new valve and our fitting there all brazed in and our valve is was protected it's still a little warm it, heat, it keeps the heat in too that's for sure <laughs> a little bit of this off we'll let that cool down a little more uh, we got the bulk of it off but um, our valve is protected so this stuff works really nice all right next step we're gonna uh, sweat back in this valve and probably put a piece of 3 8 uh, 7 8 copper coming off of it all right a little update because I've been rolling here I'm putting nitrogen in now I got the uh, new valve sweat in uh, new filter dryer all that so, um, yep, just uh, filling it with nitrogen right now to do a pressure test. Um, then we'll put the panels back on and pull the vacuum and charge her up. So, shouldn't be too much longer. Yeah, I did go with a piece of 7 8 copper here. So, went 7 8 and then put the 3 quarter inside the 7 8 Usually makes a pretty good, pretty good solid connection there between 7 8 and three eighths or uh, seven eighths and three quarter i meant so uh, seven eighths seven eighths three quarter i'm about to put this panel back on I'm about to blow my nitrogen and then we will um get it on the vacuum all right we got her on vacuum now just turned her on we'll let her pump for a while all right guys we've been running for a few minutes here got a little over nine pounds in it data plate says nine and a half probably have to add another pound for line set yeah suction line temperature hasn't really came down much super heat still on the higher end so um, this tank right here is almost empty or actually it is empty so we'll get a new tank hooked up to her and and then uh, top her off. All right, she's coming around now. Suction line temperature's dropping. Looking pretty good. We're about to button this thing up and get up out of here. There's our new valves. Still got all my stuff hooked up to them, but didn't go too bad, I don't think. Didn't go too bad at all. Here's our after shot. All right, guys. Got that family back, uh, some air conditioning, and got them back going. So that's going to be it for this one. So leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'm off to the next one. <laughs>